So Mick, we're back now in the business end, 24-man squad for the upcoming games against Georgia and Switzerland. You've had some injury issues, but you seem to be very happy with the squad that you've picked. Yeah, I am. Uh, I think what was really beneficial was the game against Bulgaria last month when I changed all the team. And I think everybody saw what a good performance the lads put in, uh, the goals that we scored, and it just shows that we've got good strength and depth in the squad. So yeah, I'm very pleased with them. Shane Duffy, Richard Kill, Dave McGoldrick, all out through injury. Obviously, Andy Stevens misses the game in Georgia. So that Bulgaria game, you think, could be very beneficial for the Georgia game and giving you that chance to, to look at some extra players? Of course, yeah. Uh, certainly, Richard's out, we know that. Um, I have a slight bit of optimism about Big Duffer, I have to be honest. Uh, he's one that I didn't think he was going to play with a groin strain in one of the games recently. And he, he said, no, I'll be all right, Gaffer, I'll be fine. And he was. I spoke to him the other day, gave me an indication that he, he won't be as long as they thought it was going to be. So until I get the absolute no from him or from the club, I'll retain a bit of optimism. But uh, John Egan and Kevin Long, I thought, were excellent in that game. Uh, I've also put Dara Lennon in and I've got Derek Williams sort of on a standby if needed for the back four. And they're, they're all playing together, to be fair. Greg Cunningham's in. Uh, in the squad, and that's three of the Blackburn back four. Obviously, Dara's in the squad now for the first time uh, under you. What do you think he can bring to the squad? Well, whenever I've watched him, he's, he's, he's a good defender. He's quite uh, he's comfortable on the ball. Very aggressive as a defender, good in the air. Uh, I like what I see. That's it. I'm, I'm not... I'm that concerned whether he's great with the ball. I think we could keep a clean sheet. And if he could add to that, if he comes in and plays, he's been in before as well. I think he knows all the lads, so he'll fit in perfectly. This is the this is the only back-to-back -back games we'll have in this camp. How important is it to have something to play for going into the final game against Denmark at the end of these two games? Well, we're always going to have something to play for, whatever happens. But, uh, of course, alluding to the games that we've got, they are... Probably the two hardest games that we've had now. Well, of course, we had Denmark away, but the two hardest games back-to-back. -back. Georgia proved against Denmark. I think here, what a good side they are, but certainly against Denmark recently in the last game. So that's going to be tough. And Switzerland, I thought, were different class sometimes against us. They've got some excellent players. And we're now playing at their place, but I'm looking forward to them both. And finally, we had, we had five players make their debut against Bulgaria, and all those keep their places in the squad for the upcoming games. Yeah, there's no reason whatsoever for me to, with three games to go, I've been doing this a long time and continuity is a big thing. Uh, and having the same group of players, squad of players, same players in who know each other and all get on well together. And I haven't seen anything from anybody else that makes me think I should be putting them in, to be quite honest. And actually, debutants in a game like Switzerland or Georgia away, Switzerland away, tough game to come into that.